Enjoy the beauty of analog speakers with the auditory and visual feast they provide. What if you could custom design your own bike based on your geometry, riding style, and purpose? Learn more about handmade custom bikes. Handmade fountain pens accentuate the classical feel of the nib against paper. We zoom in on how this old-fashioned object has survived the winds of change and is evolving for the future. Find out about the stylish and durable handmade umbrellas that are becoming a new classic wardrobe of essential while making the earth greener. AI-powered smart speakers are now available for everyone, letting them simply speak a command and have their wish come true. Despite the new technology, some are continuing the legacy of analog speakers to present a one-of-a-kind auditory experience. Let's learn more about Korea's handmade analog speakers. This is Yang Jedong in Gangnanggu, Seoul. The office is filled with jazzy vibes and unique speakers that look more like sculptures. It's the brand Krube, known for its extraordinary sound and design. Krube is one of the few handmade speaker brands remaining in Korea. All of the brand's products are produced by the owner Kim Hyun Sung using his creative spirit. Meaning curve in French, the brand distinguishes itself with unique designs and materials. Unlike standard speakers made of medium density fiberboard, Krube products are made with birch source from Finland. The first step in the making of a speaker is to trim high quality birch into the shape of a cylinder and then build an audio transmission circuit to produce sound. Of course, all the procedures are done by hand. That's why it takes two to three weeks to produce a single speaker. Once varnished with oil, the speaker is complete. The material is not the only secret behind the outstanding sound quality of the speaker. The design also matters. Beyond mere aesthetics, it has been carefully engineered to produce optimal sound. Processing a degree in design, Kim designs the speakers by himself. He created his first speaker with his friend six years ago just for fun. Little did he know it would change his life. From that point on, the designer has dedicated all his time and effort to producing better speakers. His hard work definitely paid off as more customers are recognizing the value of his products. Although they're expensive, the brand is steadily building a customer base. That night, Kim went to a bar in the suburbs of Seoul. What was he doing there? Kim visits his customers on a regular basis to check if the speakers function correctly. 
because sound quality is deeply affected by how well they are maintained. That's how much he cherishes his products. Made with heart and passion, the speakers create a fantastic atmosphere for the bar, giving people a perfect moment to chill out at the end of the day. Kim started his business with the hope of sharing good speakers with more people. And now, he's becoming a renowned handmade speaker producer. What more does he want to accomplish? Made in Korea speaker라고 하면 어, 이제 품질 좋다라는 평판을 듣고 싶은 게 이제 제 꿈입니다. We hope the speaker designer will be recognized by the world for his talent and products and wish him a sound future. Kim believes speakers are not just a medium to transmit sound, but an instrument as well. That delicate, handmade instrument is leaving a lingering impression on the hearts of music lovers. The bicycle is a simple means of transportation that is fun and doesn't pollute or take up much space in dense city environments. The majority of bikes available in the market are mass-produced but custom-made bikes are also getting the limelight thanks to enthusiastic bikers. Let's zoom in on one-of-a-kind handmade bikes. This is a workshop in a residential area of Seoul. A wide variety of tools and photos of bikes adorn the place, giving the impression that this workshop produces bikes. Lee Jung-hoon, the owner, has been creating handmade bikes over the last six years. He took up bike riding just for fun initially. However, after taking this pastime more seriously, he eventually started creating bikes himself. The 이제 그런 거 자체의 매력을 느꼈고 어렸을 때부터 이제 손으로 뭔가 만든다거나 직접 뭔가 만드는 걸 굉장히 좋아했었는데 이제 그렸다 보니까 조금 더 많이 끌린 것 같습니다. A frame builder refers to a person who builds handmade bikes. It's an official profession in many western countries, but in Korea, it's still new with less than 10 pursuing the career. That made it challenging for Lee to acquire the necessary education on how to make bikes in the beginning. Therefore, he had to find the tools and procedures required to build a bike all by himself. Internet으로 이제 해외 다른 사례들을 찾아보고 뭐 모르면 직접 메일을 보내 보기도 하고요. 그렇게 해서 답변을 받은 경우도 있고요. 이제 그렇게 해서 많이 습득을 한것 같고요. 이제 혼자서 여러 번 제작을 하다 보니까 조금 조금씩 이제 개인적인 기술도 조금씩 쌓이고 이제 스타일 등들도 조금씩 조금씩 쌓여 나간 것 같아요. The demand for custom bikes has been increasing lately, with more and more people wanting to ride their own special bicycles. Kang Jin is a university student and passionate biker. He came to the workshop to order a new bike for his bike trip. From the geometry of each rider to their riding style, type of riding, and design, there are numerous elements to consider before building a bespoke frame. As a result, it takes a minimum of three to four hours and a maximum of a few days to find out what customers really want. Frame sizes vary depending on the physique and demands of each customer, the biggest difference from mass-produced bikes. 제 다리 길이에 딱 맞춰서 
그 안장 높이라든지 그리고 팔 길이에 맞춰서 핸들 높이나 그런 것들을 조정할 수 있다는 게 좋았고 그대로 딱 맞춰서 자전거를 타면 진짜 편할 것 같다는 생각이 들었습니다. The frame has to be built to shape the basic structure. For that, Lee cuts and welds steel pipes one by one in compliance with the blueprint. Indeed, all the procedures are done by hand. With coloring and finishing details, production time varies from 10 days to a month depending on the design. Each final product costs around a minimum of 3,000 US dollars, but Lee's handmade bikes are still highly sought after. Since every bike is tailor-made for one rider, it prevents any potential physical issues that the activity may cause, like back and shoulder pain. 타는 것 자체보다는 이제 자전거를 제작하는 과정에 있어서 처음부터 자기가 직접 저를 만나서 주문자 분께서 직접 저를 만나서 이제 자신의 뭐 자전 필요한 자전거에 대해서 이야기를 직접 하고 그런 부분에서 제가 피드백을 작업 중간 중간에 받을 수도 있거든요. 혼자 제작하는 게 아니라고 생각을 해요. 주문자 분이랑 같이 제작을 해나가기 때문에 그래서 저도 뭐 의미가 있고요. 주문자 분께서도 그래서 조금 더 애착을 가지시는 것 같아요. Handwork is becoming rarer in this technological era in which machines and technologies make everything easier and quicker. However, Lee sticks to the traditional artisan methods to develop the Korean legacy of handmade bikes, which he says gives him a great sense of accomplishment. Also, he lives up to his philosophy that a good bike makes a rider feel comfortable and efficient on it. 저희 커스텀 핸드메이드 자전거 저변이 좀 넓혀져야 저도 주문자분들도 조금 더 관심을 가지고 저도 조금 더 좋은 물건 보여드릴 수 있고 조금 더 힘내서 일을 할수 있다고 생각을 하기 때문에 그래서 개인적으로는 그냥 지금 지금처럼만 좀 발전해야 되겠지만 계속 자전거를 만들 수만 있었으면 좋겠어요. Lee produces bicycles that are fast, stylish, comfortable, tough, light, and most importantly, conceived for individual riders. They're not ordinary bikes. They're exquisite and exclusive pieces of art made with devotion and craftsmanship. The personal touch of a fountain pen has led to a resurgence of modern consumers looking for an alternative to digital products and services. Let's find out how this old-fashioned object has survived the winds of change and is evolving for the future. Muledong in Seoul is the city's iron works neighborhood with some 1,000 iron foundries. Here, we can find a small atelier that offers wooden fountain pens. All these Zen-style pens are made by hand. The wood grain and subtle luster present noble beauty. In contrast with this classic beauty, the main customers are modern urbanites in their 20s and 30s. What made these youngsters fall in love with handmade fountain pens? The increasing popularity and interest in calligraphy led to a significant number of young people purchasing fountain pens. This atelier is run by Kim Il-shin and Kim Yong-hyun. Formerly furniture designers, the duo opened this handmade shop two years ago, inspired by their shared interest in fountain pens. They are very strict when it comes to selecting materials. As for wood, they use 11 different varieties, including Bogote, with striking dark brown stripes, rosewood, known for its reddish beauty, and Cocobolo, 
a tropical hardwood of Central American trees. 같은 나무 하나도 없습니다. 톤이나 결이 모두 다 다르고요. 그래서 저희가 같은 모델명을 가지 만년필이라고 하더라도 이렇게 개별로 이제 드리는 것들은 세상에 하나밖에 없는 만년필이 가장 큰 차이점을 생각을 하고요. The first is to cut wood into the right size and then make a hole in the middle. After that, a brass pipe should be placed inside to make it durable. The key to this process is to keep the thickness even until the wooden piece becomes one millimeter thick. Then they varnish the piece to protect the wooden surface with a glossy finish using natural materials like beeswax and carnauba wax. 사용자가 가장 손에 많이 닿는 부분이기도 하고요. 또 제작을 함에 있어서 제작자가 그 마감재나 아니면 재료나 그런 것들을 가장 많이 만지기 때문에 이제 해로운 것이 없는 천연 재료를 제일 고집을 하고 있습니다. The nib is the most important feature of a fountain pen, and the two utilize custom-made stainless steel nibs from Germany. Once the nib is connected with a reservoir of liquid ink, the crafted piece is complete. Then they test the pen to ensure that it writes satisfactorily in hand, the ink doesn't leak, and so on. The real beauty of fountain pens is that the nib wears in at an angle unique to its owner, heightening the value of personalization. 자기가 쓰는 각도와 압력에 딱 맞게 가장 부드럽게 잘 나오는 펜이 된다. 즉 길들여지는 과정이 만년필의 가장 매력적인 부분이라고 할수 있습니다. The two also teach how to make fountain pens here. 만년필이 어떻게 만들어지는지 어떻게 사용하는지 모르는 분들이 훨씬 더 많았습니다. 그래서 그런 분들에게 만년필을 직접 만드는 과정을 알려드리고 만년필을 사용하는 방법도 제대로 하실 수 있도록 교육하는 차원에서 클래스를 열게 되었습니다. Thanks to the designer's thorough guidance on cutting, designing, and sanding, anyone can create their own treasure in this place. Apparently, many come to the atelier just to create their very first fountain pen to experience their own creations. 소재를 나무로 쓰다 보니까 이제 잡히는 그립감이나 아니면은 음 색감이라든지 이게 너무 좋아서 제가 마음에 쏙 드는 것 같아요. 단순히 제 이름만 각인을 해가지고 어, 수제가 되는 게 아니라 저희 겉 작업부터 내부 작업까지 하니까 좀더 이렇게 과정도 알, 배우, 배울 수 있고 아니까 더 의미 있게 느껴졌던 것 같습니다. Fountain pens have always served as the quintessential combination of beauty, tradition, dexterity, and now art as well. 저를 표현하는 어떤 하나의 심볼 같은 건데요. 만년필에 각각의 디자인이 갖고 있는 그런 모양들이나 어떤 느낌들이 제가 이제 다른 데서 표현하지 못한 들은 감성들을 만년필을 통해서 많이 표현하는 것 같습니다. With dedication and hard work, the two preserve and continue the air of timeless elegance, personalization, and sentimentality associated with handmade fountain pens. Which computers and ballpoint pens seem to lack. Fountain pens are great gifts to encourage the recipient to succeed in his or her endeavors. In the digital era, it may seem anachronistic, but the ritual of choosing a pen and the color of the ink, then filling the pen, presents its owner with time for contemplation and a sense of elegance. Every year, a total of 40 million umbrellas are discarded in Korea. As the figure indicates, they are considered disposable items that are easily replaced. To change the traditional view of umbrellas, stylish and durable handmade umbrellas are being introduced in the market. Find out about these umbrellas as well as the philosophy behind them. This is a tailor shop in Seoul. Along with high-end tailor-made suits, premium handmade umbrellas catch the eye. They are 20 times more expensive than mass-produced products, but still highly sought after with noteworthy repurchase rates. 
일반 의상과 다르게 디자인도 있고 색상도 있고 고급스럽고 어, 그게 첫 번째 선택의 이유였고요. 그 다음으로는 기존의 의상이라고 하면 그냥 고장나면 버리는 그런 일회용으로 생각을 했었는데 여기 슈루 의상은 그렇지 않고 These umbrellas are more like fashion items to complete a modern man's wardrobe. And they were created by Cho Jang Hyun and Park Ri Hae of Shurup with the goal of changing people's perceptions of umbrellas. 매년 25개의 에펠탑 대신에 25그루의 나무를 심자라는 캠페인을 저희는 진행을 하고 있습니다. 저희와 인연을 맺어 주신 고객님들과 함께 어, 단순한 빅 브랜드가 아닌 함께 소통하면서 가치를 만들어 나가는 그런 브랜드를 목표로 운영하고 있습니다. Knowing that weaker umbrellas perpetuate the vicious cycle of discarding and repurchasing, the designers decided to create well-made, durable products with a classic twist. The colors and designs perfectly complement the designer's philosophy. <laughs> 특이한 점이 저희가 이게 크라운 룸이라는 게 있거든요. 그러니까 사용할 때는 그냥 이렇게 하시면 되거든요. 저희가 오픈을 이렇게 하시는데 여기 손 닿는 부분이기 때문에 이쪽에도 베지터블 가죽을 다 사용을 한 거고요. 그리고 여기 하나하나 그다 스티치로 손으로 다 들어가는 부분이고요. Just like any artisan product, it requires a complicated process to create these umbrellas. Each piece is the culmination of some 130 procedures and a number of skilled artisans each specializing in a certain skill. Therefore, the two designers have to coordinate with the artisans every time they receive a purchase order. The first is to create the structure at an umbrella factory they've partnered with. The most important part of this process is to enhance the function and durability of the umbrella. The shaft and stretchers are made of fiberglass reinforced plastic commonly used to produce fishing rods and golf clubs. It's light, durable, insulative, and anti-rust, just perfect for umbrellas. Once the basic structure is complete, leather crafting begins. The artisan cuts and sews leather by hand to create a handle. Another place is just in charge of imprinting. Each umbrella features the name of the customer, laser engraved on the wooden handle to make it truly one of a kind. 고객분들이 요청하신 각인 작업을 저희, 저희 이 레이저 업체에서 작업을 하는데요. 제가 이제 직접 와서 또 오류가 있을 수도 있으니까 그걸 하나하나 어, 잡아내기 위해서 제가 이쪽에서 어, 직접 항상 보고 있습니다. The entire process takes 10 days and then the designer applies varnish and polishes the engraving to add the ultimate final touch. Even after these thorough procedures, not every umbrella makes it to the customer. The designers believe that maintaining high standards is the only way for handmade products to keep their value. Indeed, they stay true to their ethos. <laughs> 고객과의 어떤 관계를 가장 중요하게 생각하고 있습니다. 왜냐하면 어, 하나의 브랜드가 이제 저희가 원하는 브랜드는 단순히 돈을 많이 벌기 위해서 만드는 빅 브랜드가 아니라 어, 고객과의 끊임없이 소통을 하면서 성장해 나가는 마이크로 브랜드를 만들고 있고요. 어, 저희의 목표는 앞으로 한 100년 정도까지 갈수 있는 어, 그런 우선 브랜드를 만드는 게 목표입니다. The items we use say a lot about who we are. Now, it's changing consumer culture and the general perception about umbrellas while protecting the environment as well. Handmade products are labor-intensive and expensive compared to those made by machine. Yet they're authentic and support a tradition of skilled work in this digital era. That's exactly why we need to protect that legacy.